And no, no way a five-year-old should be watching that shit. <gasps> Do you love a single father? No bread would be enough. <gasps> I'm gonna stick with my initial answer, but then take out the essay. Just put a bag over their head. Your parents do have sex. See it all. I am not swimming in feces. Look, we got mother suckers. Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Night and Day Show. If you're new, welcome. And for all those that are returning viewers, nice to have you back. As you already know, I am Day. I am Night. And let's get started with the first topic. I think you're gonna like these. All right, whenever she starts with that, I'm not gonna like this. I found a few would you rathers on Reddit. Okay. And it's would you rather, not would you rather or neither. So you have to choose I one. Do, I do have that habit. I just think that these are would you rathers that you will love to answer. Sounds good? Is there a specific topic? No. Okay. So, <laughs> would you rather swim through your town's sewage system naked or have to put your internet history on your job applications, like the whole thing. Internet even history. Once, internet history. Even what's an incognito browsing, del deleted history. history, everything of your life you have ever searched. Yeah, see it all. I am not swimming in feces. <laughs> <laughs> naked or plus? Yeah, yeah, naked. That's that's just uh uh. Even if I had a swimsuit so that like it would like cover my entire body, no, I'm not swimming in sewers. See my history. I ain't got nothing to hide. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you rather would you rather have intercourse with a goat, but yeah. nobody would know, or not have intercourse with a goat, but everybody thought you did? <laughs> <laughs> I think I would rather them think that I did, even though I did it, because then, you know, I'd have that conscious of like, I didn't do it though. Why do they think that of me? I don't know. But that seems like they're wasting their time doing that because I did not participate in bestiality. Would you rather watch your parents have sex a thousand times or join them once? A thousand times? Mm-hmm. Or join them one time. Respectfully. When, okay, wait, when you say watch, like, am I just like, like standing like that emoji, just looking at them or is it like, creeping from a corner, so like. No, 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 like, the bed's here, you're sitting down, and it's, oh. they're putting on a show for you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not they're putting on a show, okay. Mm. Honestly, I would have to watch, because I can't participate. Excuse me? I agree. This, the act that we're, we're, we're doing here, created me. Why would I want to participate in that? I agree 100%. I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing, like, okay, I would, I would probably ask, like, okay, so which, which one made me, mm -hmm. you know? Stuff like that, but I would not want to participate. I agree. Like, I'd rather watch them because your parents do have sex. It's okay. I mean, we're, that's how we're all here, right? We're all here for that reason, because of the act that they committed. So like, seeing it- I feel like after like, if it's a thousand times, I'm not gonna lie, at a certain point, I'd get bored with it. They'd be like, switch it up, up switch it up. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. start giving directions, like, okay, you, Go this way. You go that way. Leg this way. Leg that way. <laughs> you know, like, I was like giving directions because a thousand times I'm gonna get bored if you. you, you yeah, especially if they're just like vanilla as fuck. But then imagine that they're like freaky from the start. And I'd be like, that's why I turned out like this. <laughs> that's the one. Uh, okay. Oh my god. Okay. Here's the situation. It's a Freaky Friday type shit. Your partner and your parent from that same gender woke up in their opposite bodies. So your partner's in your parent's body, your parent's in your partner's body. Okay. And to switch their bodies back, you're gonna have to have sex with one of them. Which one are you having sex with? The parent in your spouse's, in your partner's body or your partner's mindset in your parent's body? <laughs> it would have to be, mm. Okay, it's gonna have to be the parent in the partner's body because then I can just put a bag or something over its head and it's like, don't look. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 anesthesia. Put them under anesthesia. 
I do a little one two step and then boom they switch <laughs> so you're essaying oh my god <laughs> you're hard that out. I didn't even think that far ahead I was just thinking of like I don't want my parent to see this but it's not even a question of seeing they're gonna feel it not if they're asleep but then that's why it's like oh shit that's essay <laughs> uh, I don't know which one now because it's like I don't want to know what my parent feels like nor do I want my parent to know what I be like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to assume that it won't be status quo and blood making. But then, but then, but then, okay. After the act and the switcheroo happened, do all the memories of that day still stay with them? Of course. Oh, I'm going to stick with my initial answer, but then take out the essay. Just put a bag over their head. Okay, I'm gonna put like muffling, muffling earphones or whatever, and then we're gonna we're gonna put some like blackout glasses or whatever. It's gonna okay. It's gonna look it's gonna look like we're doing some freaky stuff because then I'm gonna have to have their hands like you don't. I don't just don't understand them. what's the problem of them seeing what's happening, but being able to feel what's happening. Because just... your parent has seen you naked. I just don't want that image to be in their head. But they feel it. Picture is something else. At this point, don't switch back, guys. Stay how you are. Are you gonna continue dating your partner? No. Ooh. This one's this one's pretty. This is pretty vanilla. Would you rather be a marine animal in the depths of the Mariana Trench, or would you rather be a goldfish in a child's bedroom? What's the Mariana Trench? Called? It's like one of the deeps, deepest pits of water. Well, known to man, you know, because we haven't really visited much. But then, see, it's not like it's not as bad as like the Bermuda Triangle type of vibes. Or it's it's like, just deep, deep waters. I feel like marine animal in the deep. Waters of the sea. I wouldn't mind that. I get to see what nobody else is like. Nobody else wants to see, or what they did see and don't want to tell nobody that they saw. So they're like, "Yeah, let's just go to space." <laughs> okay, this one's stupid. Would you rather fight one horse-sized duck, so the duck the size of a horse, or a hundred ducks, or a hundred sorry, or a hundred duck-sized horses? So horses the size of a duck. <laughs> the horse is the size of a duck. They're so tiny. I probably don't even want to fight them. I'm just like, I'm gonna, let me just take like a handful of y'all. Let me just, let, let's go home. <laughs> I, would, I feel I like a duck sized horse. horse would be a menace, bro. Definitely. Have you seen inside their mouth? No bread would be enough. <gasps> like we have to throw <laughs> loaves on no top No bread loaf. would be enough. That is hilarious. I what does the inside of their mouth look like? Um, wait, wait, wait. It's like the inside of a penguin's mouth. Like that, that, that movie, so. that movie that, that had the thing at the end. Yep. I think so. Let me just, um, double check here. Um, let me, let me show you. And then of course I will show the audience. What? Their tongue has teeth? Pretty much. Now, in our next segment. We are going to be going through our top five best movies, favorite movies, movies that shaped us, whatever the case may be. Oh, okay, yes. Just letting you know, I have the five movies that have shaped me. I have an honorable mention, which is like not a movie that shaped me, but like it's like almost like a comfort movie. And then I have a movie that's traumatized me. Okay, so I have the movies that are like up there for me. One of them is in fact a comfort movie, but my honorable mention, it's not that I necessarily like the movie, it's more so the movie stuck with me because of how traumatized I was and how confused I was at the end. But I do not have one that would be like another traumatized one. I might think of one off like that. Okay. But like, I, ha I, haven't, I haven't written it down. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Do you want to start or do you want me to start? I can start. Okay. I don't think it's an, it's not in any particular order, but I like, when I thought about this, I was like, what are five movies that like, yeah, it shaped who I am today. Number five for me is Finding Nemo. I just, we love a single father who's doing <laughs> everything he can to find his boy, you know? A single father who's going through grief in the worst way possible. Yeah. By yeah. imagining a son. But yeah. Well, that's the, that's the fan theories there. Fan theory. Nemo means no one. Yes, I understand that, but that's a fan theory. If we're looking at the f actual movie, it's about a single father that yes is dealing with grief and is projecting his like opinions on the world and his like thoughts 
on, on all of that to his son who has a little bit of a disability and then gets taken away and then he tries to find his son and by by him finding his son he is facing all his prejudice fears i love that movie just saying love it i love how everybody has character development mm -hmm. so the way i went with my list is not based off of the show that made me who i am but it's more so the movies that stuck with me mm -hmm. Somewhat because of the message, somewhat because it's like, what the heck did I just watch? Mm. And some of them because it's like, I will never rewatch this again. Oh, uh, okay. So number five for me was The Truman Show. So I that movie where his, like, the character since birth was put on camera and his entire life is like not real. Mm -hmm. It's just there for entertainment. But he It's Jim Carrey, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I chose this movie because I was like, what in the heck? Because like, I already knew what I was getting into before I watched it because I kept seeing clips all over. But then seeing how everything was working out, I'm just like, that is too possible in my sleep. Like, mm. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah. It's very realistic that this could actually happen to somebody at one point if it hasn't already. Yeah, that's the, those are the type of movies that I really dislike. But like, not because the movie's not good, it's just that I don't like a movie that stresses me out about my day-to-day -day life. <laughs> mm. That's like, I don't like that. Like, already people think so much we're in a simulation. Like, don't make a movie about it, please. <laughs> my number four is Spirit. I love that movie. Um, of, of course, we talk about like very like true problems, which was like colonialism and stuff like that, but like, just the point of view of a horse and like even though it seems stupid like it just it's so emotional so emotional like the it like it talks about like the like the trueness of friendship and like even if you're like not from the same thing but you might be facing the same problems you anyways spirit always like and also these movies in my top five like i can always watch them again and i'll never okay. get bored of it okay mm -hmm. i see that there's a theme a little bit with yours I, I i tried to stay away from it but i'm not gonna lie like animated movies is like near and dear to my heart i find like animated movies are like to me mm -hmm. way better than like live action movies okay because you can give you can put so much in a drawing you can animate so much you can show i find you can show so much more emotion with an animated character than you can do like a real person mm -hmm. and i just find like the messages get put smoothly and like to me like animated character like movies like will always be like near and dear to my heart but i do have some that have actual people no no it's just because like mine was like like i can my number four is i'm considering this number four because i'm not gonna lie i, I didn't really like this movie well it's not that i don't like it I'm not too sure it should still be on the list but it's midsummer i did not like that movie at all okay but it was mainly because the like for most of the movie they were on drugs so then you didn't know if what you were seeing was actually what was happening sort of and then it's pretty much somebody going through a psychotic break at the end and just joining a cult oh it's a confusing movie don't watch it it's not worth it okay my bad it's just not it, it gives me a headache thinking about it okay that's why i wasn't so sure why i put it there um, my number three is Anastasia. Mm -hmm. I just, I just love that movie. Of course I know it's based on true events that don't happen to be so nice. But I like the movie, okay? I like it. I like the freaking movie. I don't have to explain myself. As you should. I just like it. Yeah. What's the name, Dimitri? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> As you should. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number, we're at number three, right? Okay, number three for me is Shutter Island. You mean a bunch of shit I don't fucking know. <laughs> Sorry. So Shutter Island is like, there's there's an, it's not insane, so I don't know if it's a proper term, there's an asylum. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the characters, he is almost like in a psychosis of sorts because he's not accepting the reality that is his reality. So then what they do is like one of the doctors pretends to be a cop and that he's a cop still because his past before he was put into the asylum he was a cop so they pretend like they're going on a case together to find out what happened to somebody but throughout the movie it's like nearing the end that you realize they're trying to find out what happened to him and what actually like what are the true events that led to him being in the asylum because he's in denial about it and he needs to almost like accept it and then heal or whatever or else he's going to be put through like a lobotomy sorry my movie sounds boring 
It doesn't sound boring. <laughs> My number two is, I don't think I need to explain myself for this one either. Cheetah Girls 2. <gasps> She's on there. <laughs> She's on there. I, like that movie, I feel like shaped a generation. Mm -hmm. Like Disney didn't need to pop off. Like it was a Disney Channel movie, bro. That shit, I don't even think that shit hit theaters like that. It should've. It, it should've. Would've, it would've broke bank. Like that movie, if they put it in theaters, I'm telling you right now, I'm buying 25 seats. 100%. Just for me. Like that, that movie it was solid. Mm -hmm. Solid, solid, solid. I really loved that movie. Sadly, I did not make a list similar to you. So my number two is Get Out. Mm -hmm. I just felt like it was a very like, this could happen to us. If it ain't already. Mm -hmm. So I just, I liked, I also liked that it was a black director and he was a screenwriter too. Yeah, Jordan Peele, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just found that that was very satisfying because it's like, this is something I can relate to sadly, but then also I can't really fully relate to just yet, because you know. Well, it, it reminded me of, um, I don't know if you remember that movie. It came out not too long ago. It was starring Kiki Palmer about the plantation that was still running in the middle of the 20th century. Yeah. And it's based on true events. Like there was a plantation that was able to like keep certain black people in the unknown that they were liberated and it kept going with generations like it's actually insane like how much if you control the media surrounding a population you can keep them in ignorance um my number one is spirited away it's the um movie about um a girl and her parents moving and then they stop because some, like I think they ran out of gas or something and they find this town but without them knowing they cross the plane like a different dimension that human shouldn't be in mm -hmm. and it was the town was empty and then there was food and the parents without asking permission or waiting for somebody just started eating the food the girl didn't and the parents got turned into pigs the girl her now the entire movie is her journey to trying to changed her, parent, her parents back into actual parents because if the parents stayed pigs for too long, they were gonna become a full pig. And I thought it was a great movie. It had a lot of good storytelling. The animation was fire as fuck. Re there is reasons why it won Oscars, okay? But I just loved, I love that movie. Okay, I might have to give that a watch. Honestly, you should, like, I think it's on Netflix. I think I've seen it, yeah. Okay. My number one is The Prince of Egypt. Do I need to explain? No. It's just, it's just very beautiful. Like, I didn't know it was like people that you knew, like, because usually voice actors, you don't know them unless they've done many voices. Mm -hmm. But that movie, like, I can rewatch all day, every day. I'm never gonna get tired of it. The music, mm -hmm. the visuals, mm -hmm. the story, mm-hmm. So my honorable mention is because I felt like I could not make this list without adding like my comfort black movie. And if you don't know what a black movie is, it's basically like black cinema. Like, um, and mine was Beauty Shop. I, I don't know why. I just love that movie. I love Queen Latifah in that movie. I love Kevin Bacon in that movie. <laughs> like, it's just the cast was, it didn't need to hit like that. Okay. And it's just about this woman who... And I find like it's similar to re why Get Out is on your list. Like this happens to us all the time in professional settings mm -hmm. that we excel, we exceed expectations in the job and we're not recognized for it. And when we do wanna do by our own, which in her case was get herself a beauty shop, like people ridiculed her, laughed at her, sabotaged her business. And she still ended up on top. And it shows a lot about like, like racial stereotyping is stupid and like you don't know who a person is until you get to know them. I just think it's a really good comfort movie. Um, I don't think it's part of bar the Barbershop franchise, but I think it's in the same universe. But yeah, that is my honorable mention. The movie that traumatized me, like would it traumatize me now as a child? No, but till this day I just get the like, ugh. It's a movie franchise called Species. And I don't know if you've ever heard about this. The first movie came out in 1995. And as you can see, I was negative a couple years old. So how did I find out about this movie? 
So my mother's a sick individual, you know? Um, she, um, as she, she was doing her hair on a weekly basis, there was this like cable channel that would pay 24 seven would play like horror movies. Okay. And so, and also my mom, and I, well, she's still till this day, she's a firm believer in like, I will watch whatever I want. I don't care if my kids are around. <laughs> And so she would watch these horror movies all the time with us, like on her lap or between her legs, like her doing our hair. And this movie had me traumatized. Why? Because the whole premise of this movie is this alien species of sexy women trying to get men pregnant. So the entire movie is people fucking and then things go in fucking people's throats and then guys get pregnant. And so it took me a while to kiss my first boy because I was scared, okay? Um, that movie traumatized the shit out of me and now that I look at it back, it's just like, it's just an excuse to watch. That's basically porn. Just an excuse to watch people fuck on screen because the plot was not plotted, to be honest. It, but it just traumatized me as a child. I don't understand why. Mm-hmm. And no, no way a five-year-old should be watching that shit. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. fucking traumatized me, bro. Y'all ready for this food challenge? Oh yeah! Look what we got, mother suckers. We finally got these bad boys. If you were like us during the pandemic and just on TikTok scrolling, and you saw these motherfuckers, and you could never get to try them, this is for you. Oh, it's the bag smells nice. Mm-hmm, I want a green one. It's these jelly things, but the thing is, we gotta be careful, because from what I saw on TikTok, people will almost choke you to death. I want a pink one. It's gonna be good. Is there another color you'd wanna try? I wanna try it. Red? Red? All right. So there's yellow, red, orange, green, and pit pet. At this point, let's just have, is there one of each? Like yeah, that we can have pretty two? Pretty much, I think. Okay, so then let's do that. There's an orange and then there's a green. Wait, hold up. I don't have a yellow. So here's a yellow. Uh, purple, do you have a purple? Yeah. Yeah. This there's orange. There's only one orange. Oh no. Well, I guess this orange is not getting tried. Why would they just give two, two of each, but then, Anyways, this is the orange with the best flavor. So we're but gonna try them. Do you need to eat this, or is it just the juices on the inside? So the way I saw them is people were just, I'm. We can try. I don't think my teeth can survive this, but hey, you want to pick the first squishy. color? Yeah, but it's plastic. You have to go through the plastic and then get the. Anyways, do you want to? Which color do you want to start with? Yellow. Yellow. Okay. So here's the yellow. My guess is this is gonna be a lemon flavor. What side should we buy it? I don't know, any side, I guess. All right. Three, two. Mmm. Wait, wait. wait. I, where, did you, where did you buy it? You bet the side, okay. Cause I was deep throwing this and I was like, whoo. Keep pressing. Keep pressing. I know, I know. It actually isn't bad. It didn't, it didn't do what it did in the, those other videos. What just, if it just goes pew? <laughs> Keep pressing. Keep pressing. Yay! The taste oh, is very like, Mm-hmm. I thought it was gonna be like just like liquid. So far, so good. It was like it almost tasted like nothing, but it was. It was um. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's do. Since nobody wanted this one, let's do purple. Look at how this one looks like. I'm assuming she won't taste loud, great. All right, right. three, two, one. I don't know how people were choking. Like some people would press and it would go th directly back of their throat. Some people were biting from the front, not the side like us though. Oh. That one tasted a little bit better than the yellow in my opinion. Like, it had more flavor. I don't know if I'm not doing this right, but there's always some left. No, no, no there is for me too. I ain't fighting for it, because I know I got a few others to try. That's so green. Okay. I'm gonna try to bite it from the front to see if it's gonna make me choke. Okay. This is the green, this is the green one. All righty. 
So three, two, one. Even when I bit it from the front, the puncture is here. I bit it on the other side and then I felt this open. So I just turned or else the camera was going to get splattered, bro. The strawberry. I'm ready. All right, let's do this. Three, two, one. You good? It almost took me out. <laughs> so far, I think this one's the best. I don't know. This one has the most flavor. Yeah. So far, this seems over. This seems overhyped as fuck. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan. I'm not gonna lie. Like it's just, eh, it's meh. It's overhyped as fuck. Now, topic number four. As we all know, is going to be an am I the asshole? So let's get into it. Am I the asshole for letting my girlfriend be homeless? Yes. The fuck. I started dating my longtime friend about seven months ago, and while I've always had a crush on her and loved her personality, she has a reoccurring problem. She has a hard time finding slash keeping a residence for long periods of time. She has no family that is responsible enough to turn to, uh, to turn to, and her friends are all either moved out of state or married with children, so she doesn't have many places to turn to. Not long after we started dating, about a week, she confessed to me that she was behind on her bills, rent, car payment, to the point that she couldn't afford she couldn't provide for herself. Being a longtime friend and now boyfriend, I helped her out by giving her $700 so she could write her sales. That helped until she fell ill and missed a week of work so she could so she would be behind again on payments. She suffered from compromised immune system, so I wasn't going to hold that against her. I gave her another thousand to cover expenses so she could have more than enough to make up the upcoming bills and still eat. Then her uncle ruins the relationship between her and her landlord, meaning she only has a month to find a new place to live. She refuses to live with her roommate, and after a month, I convince my parents to let her live with us in my room rent-free. Not long after, she moves in, she quits her job. They were abusive to her to the point, to the point of law-breaking, and she looks for a new one, taking about a month or so to do so. I pay all of her costs at this time for another $600-ish. Then she lands a job at Chain Coffee Shop. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's the name or if he's no like, he's most likely yeah, yeah yeah and needs a new wardrobe for the dress code I front the bill that for that and the makeup which was about a thousand dollars including makeup and new clothes she starts the job and is immediately being harassed by staff for her short height some not even helping her get things from high shelves she then falls ill with COVID and misses more than a week of work the coffee shop demands that she takes a leave of absence for some reason but we decide it's better for her to look for to look into getting another job. Oh, sorry. To look for getting into an older job back, her older job back, sorry. The way they're writing is very confusing. So I'm trying to like read through the errors. Mm -hmm. Okay. I pay her expenses for another, for another $700 ish and she goes back to her old job. Now after four months and being able to make money, my folks want her to leave having overstayed her welcome. But she doesn't want a roommate and wants to get a house with me a goal I'd been saving up for, for nearly a year at that point. Now, she's living with a coworker until the end of the month and will be homeless after, unless I find and close on a house. She's upset that it isn't happening fast enough for her, but I feel I've done an, a lot for her already and she needs to square her own rigging and find a place to rent with a roommate until I have enough to save up to buy a house. The end. I still think they're the asshole. They're the asshole? I still think they are. Explanation. All right, I'll tell you, because you knew this, this is a long-term friend. You said in the beginning, you know her little problems. Mm -hmm. You still laid a bed with her. Mm -hmm. You still embarked on a relationship with her, which we all know that relationships, you get more responsibility towards this person. You baby this person. Now we're not gonna talk about her immune system, nor her getting COVID because that's not in her control. Now, you're telling me that she worked at said coffee shop. Why the hell are you spending over a thousand dollars in makeup and new clothes for this coffee shop? Why, like I understand like a new wardrobe, but it's sounding brand new stuff. So why was the makeup needed? Is she working at a coffee shop or Sephora? She had zero makeup before? How was she going to her other job? Bare face? 
then she could go to this job bare face, right? Like I understand that because when I worked at Bath and Body Works, the dress code was blue jeans, white shirt, blue jeans, white shirt. And that was not my everyday war. Like I, I didn't have that usually, but guess what? I do have a washer and dryer. So there's so much variety a blue jean and white shirt can give me. I got three of each and it was on rotation and it would get washed. So a thousand dollars on clothes, it is sounding like you bought at least two weeks worth of clothes brand new. Like that makes absolutely no sense to me. For someone that you know has a reputation of just finding problems with every job she has. Her outstay outstaying her welcome at your parents' house, it is what it is. But for someone who seems to always get hit in the face by life over and over again, she's very picky. That's the thing that I don't get. Like I don't think he's an asshole because she could solve this problem by just accepting that right now where she has she is in life, she needs to have a roommate. I just think he's an asshole for being in a relationship with this person, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> like, you knew who this person was, you embarked on a relationship, and you're expecting her to change? True. Like, that's the part I don't understand. Like, now that she's seen you spend literally racks on her, why would she change now? Because you've been enabling it anyway. Like, you've been enabling it 100%. But then also, like, damn, she can't catch a break. Because mm. if it's not her being sick, it's something going on at her job. I'm not going to lie to you. That whole, they're making fun of me because I'm short and they're not helping me. I don't believe that shit. One fucking second. Like, yeah, workplaces are fucked up, but it's giving pick me energy. I'm so tiny and so frail and they make fun of me for it. No, bitch, they're not. It's a coffee store. First of all, they don't have stepping ladders. Get the fuck out of here. Also, say coffee store. Okay, so I'm assuming you're getting stuff in the inventory because everything in front of the store should be easily reachable. Mm -hmm. I wish he put height in this because from what I'm hearing, she sounded 4'11". She might actually be 5'3". And most, I, I, I've not seen six foot five coffee shop employees, <laughs> right? They're all children-like. So they're all below average height. I don't believe it. And But then you go back to the old job that was her, like doing shit to you that it was becoming illegal. So the crimes didn't matter <laughs> at some point. The way I see it, it's like if somebody keeps having problems at work, maybe they are the problem. Cause I see a common denominator. Yeah. And it's her, and we all know that one person that like they, they job hop left and right. And there's always a problem. I have been in toxic toxic work environments, right? Like toxic, okay? I have never been fired. Yeah. And I'm not saying I'm a good employee because I'm not. I'm here for a check. I'm not here to be employee of the month, okay? But I've never been fired. Mm -hmm. When someone's being constantly fired or has constantly needs to leave a job, but like you're not even job hopping, like you're job jobless. Job jobless. <laughs> like, yeah, because at least if you're job hopping, it's like you still have good standing in those jobs, you're just leaving. But like you're not even you're not even a seeked out employee. Like mm -hmm. nobody wants to hire you. Like this dude was thinking with his peepee -pee instead of his cello. Because why the fuck? Huh? What do you mean by that? Why the fuck is he in a relationship with her? I thought you were talking about Papa Moon! Oh my god! I was like, what was Papa Moon doing? Ew! No! I don't wanna know! But like... When you said it like that, it sounded like Harmon! Oh my god! <laughs> I need to watch that show again. I do not. I so, haven't finished it. Mm -mm, I can't. Like, it's too... The only... Sorry, go ahead. The show's too cunt. Like, it's too it camp, is? it's too cunt. It's like, like, yes for the for like inspiration, but like no for plot. I can't do it, <laughs> but. The only person that I know that's similar to like Papa Moody that spent, uh, that aspect is like when I used to have like that other job that I had, one of the clients, maybe, I would say the record, three months. Oh wow. And then fired. And then all of a sudden, they're not the problem. Mm. And it's like, honey. Like, what jobs what are you- What is happening? Cause what jobs are you finding that we're not? Cause it's like you're job hopping but shitty jobs every single time. Mm. And it's not like I've had like the cream of the cream when it comes to job picking, right? 
but I've never had these problems you're having. Yeah. And I think it's a question of some people just feel entitled, like to like the minimum of respect, which is like, yes, we all are in theory, but guess what? In these retail jobs, in these like fast environment, like jobs that like we can we can fire you and hire six to replace you. They don't give a fuck about the bare necessity of a human being. Like they really don't. And it's like a killed or be killed in that world. You need to get your shit done. You there who's watching this video, if you have, if you have any of these sort of problems, these dilemmas, these situations that you would like to tell us for us to give our unsolicited opinion, but in this case, it would be solicited by you. Check the description for the email. And of course, if you wanna stay anonymous, we can do it no problem. Also, if you want just us to talk to you and reach out to you, then we can do that too. We don't have to put this on the channel. And on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. We enjoyed it too. So if you have any, like you like something, you hate something, you want us to do something again, you want us to never do something again, leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. On that note, got any comments tonight? Fuck the club up. Fuck the club up. Roll the clip. Thank you.